Greetings and salutations. Pop again. I'm. I, I, I feel like jazz is in my head, and god damn it, you, you fucking creeper, get the hell out of my head! Ah! Today we're talking about grammar. Bad grammar. Like, every time I hear bad grammar, a small piece of my soul dies. A piece of my soul. So, to those of you who use grad bad grammar, know that y you are. You are taking away little pieces of my soul. Pieces of my soul are dying because of you. I... For example, my brother. My poor brother, he got so used to text talk. You know, the little abbreviation nonsense that people do in text messages, which really irks me because I write in complete sentences when I text and complete words. He writes a text talk, and so he finds himself in official documents, having to edit himself because he finds himself using text talk. As in, instead of writing the word text, he'll write TXT or SUM, the number one, instead of someone. I, and I understand that ain't is indeed a word. However, it's not one that you use in professional conversation. If I said Kaflorgan and gave it a meaning, it would, and it caught on, and enough people used it, Kaflorgan would be a word, but it wouldn't be something you use in professional speech. Another one that really bothers me that we get a lot in the South is um, people who are going to do something, and they use these little, I don't know where these these words came up, came from. They're, they're popular in the South. Fixin' a, finna, fin to. No, you're about to, or you're going to do something. You're, you're not fixin' a anything, or finna anything, or, or fin to anything. Ah, it's it's English. It's it. We all learn these rules at a young age. And people already already assume you're ignorant if you have a southern accent. It's rather unfortunate, but it's the way it is. Don't fuel their fire with made up words. Ew. Gross. Another thing that really it's a simple, simple concept, but really irks which is why it really irks me when people get it wrong is Subject verb agreement. If I hear John and I is one more time, or we is, I may lose it. Oh, and speaking of John and I, people try to get all uppity because they think they learned something in English class. So every time they're talking about themselves and another person, they always say, and I, and I. Actually, in proper English, if, you, if you're talking about yourself and another person and it's in the predicate of a sentence, you do actually say, John and me. John and I went to the store, but Kim came to the store with John and me. If you can take out John and you would use I, then it's John and I. If you can take out John and you would use me, then it's John and me. Kim went to the store with me. Kim went to the store with John and me. I went to the store. John and I went to the store. It's not that hard of a concept. Why can't people get it right? Do yourselves a favor. Pick up a third grade grammar textbook and educate yourselves. Education is a beautiful thing. Anywho, love you guys. I'm going to stop ranting now. Have a great day.
Peace and love.